Hey folks, it's another crew review. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and I am here to go once again review, crew review, the uh, Rocky Grinder from Ranchilio. We haven't looked at it up close and personal for many, many years, and we thought, it's one of our most popular grinders, let's revisit it. So this is the doserless. It also comes in a doser with a vessel on the front. Then you grind a bunch of coffee down in there and you hit the lever back and forth, back and forth. And it, it, there's pie shaped things in there that go around and around and around. I prefer the doser list, especially if you're going to be doing like, um, this goes everything from espresso right up to, I want to call it RRG, Rocky Road Gravel. It's a new ice cream on the market. But anyway, it goes really, really coarse. As you can see, let's look at that while we're on that topic. This is the very, very finest, and this is like talc. This would choke a machine. Then medium, it's got some granules in it, and then the RRG. Very, very coarse. And this machine will go uh, from zero up to 55 settings. It has the rack on the front to hold the portafilter, so it can grind right down into your portafilter. Or if you're grinding for like pour over French press, something like that, this comes out put a vessel under here and grind down into it. Has a tray down here that collects the excess, excess ground coffee. It has a, a black front and it has stainless steel brushed all the way wrap around. And this is the on off. This actually puts power to the machine. And this one actually, this actually engages it. I have this apart before I go any further. I, I wanna show you how it functions, but I have it apart because I want to show you the inside. So, that's how it comes apart. I mean, there's, there's three screws down in there that you loosen. This comes out, that comes out, and that's the bottom of the screws. You can clean that, you can wash that with uh, soapy water. And then this is the top burr. It's, I have it mostly unscrewed. It has a brass surround that holds the Come on. It's got a lot of threads, very fine threads, you can see. Uh, this is brass, which holds the 50 millimeter flat tempered steel burrs. And there's the other burr on the inside there, as you can see. And it goes around. So I'm gonna put this back together. I'll show you how to put it back together. This is a, I know we have another video about how to calibrate this to put it back together, but hey, we're here. Don't cross thread this. If you do, it's a nightmare to get undone and it ruins the threads. And you'll have to buy that whole piece and the in inner piece too if you mess up both sides of the threads, not good. So what you do is you put this on and you take it right down till it stops. That means the two burrs are touching. And while you're in here, don't forget to clean it. We, we cleaned it all out. We used a vacuum and a brush and everything else. In between taking it apart like this, use grinds. That's an excellent product. Can't say enough good about it. Okay, now you've, you're down to zero where they're touching each other. And what you want to do is line this up, zero in the front, and then line up the screws with the corresponding on the inside here. Now I can see I'm just a little bit off. Not much, so I'm going to back it off just a little bit to match. And then the screwdriver down in there. I don't know if I'm there or not. I think I am. Nope. Yeah, maybe I'm not. Nope, not quite engaging. I'm not backed off enough. I can see where it was trying to thread into the brass there. This is an important part of this though. You don't want to, you don't want to get it down too low. There we go. Tighten them down, all three of them. Takes a flat blade. All right, that's how you put it back together. Now, it's all clean. Put some coffee in there. And I'll show you how it works. 
One of the complaints about this is that on this machine, to make an adjustment, you have to have it running. You should have it running, especially when you're going from a coarser setting to a finer setting. Those two brewers have coffee in between them, and if you're trying to make them go closer together to give yourself a finer setting, you're trying to smash coffee. It, should, it just, just can't be done. So you have to have it on. You have to push this down. This is what makes this, the step. This is a step grinder, so you're going from one spot to the next, and that's how it holds it in the spot. So let's say you want to go finer. You'd have to be able to turn this with one hand, push this down, and push this on. Who has three hands? Nobody I know. There's one way around it. Only grind, let's say you're grinding for drip and you want to go down to espresso. You have to have it running. Only grind for the drip, the amount that you are going to use, and let it run out. That take, clears out all the coffee between those two burrs. Now you can take it down easier. Or I found something I tried the other day and it seemed to work pretty good. Take the lid off. Push that down, turn it on. Whoopsie, let's put the power switch on. And rotate, okay? It works, what can I say? I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, you're sticking your hand in the hopper, but if there isn't too many beans in there, you're not exactly what I would say touching it, so I don't think it's a biggie. So that's the Rocky Grinder, comes doser and doser less. Workhorse, this thing is built like a tank. Uh, if you get one of these, uh, you'll have it for years to come. The pros are it's built like a tank and it does a nice job. I would say one of the cons is two cons. Uh, it's stepless, which means you can't fine tune it as much as you would a, I mean, st it's stepped. So you can't fine tune it as much as you would a stepless grinder. And the adjustment would be the other con that I would say, you know, you're like, or you're calling somebody over to help you. Other than that, I think this is a great grinder for the money. Check it out on our webpage. The stats are on there. The rest of the stats that you need to know, height and all that, 14 inches, by the way. And um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're missing you guys out there. Whoever isn't subscribed, we're missing you. And we appreciate all the people that have. Stay tuned for the next crew review. And thanks for watching this one.